Do you know what a government budget is? How it is prepared and implemented? Are you aware that both the union and state governments run a large number of schemes and programs with varied objectives like to improve health, education, to build infrastructure, to create employment opportunities, to ensure law and justice, to provide social security among others? All these affect our life in one way or another. But do we have clarity on how these schemes and programs are prepared? Who funds these? and how these are implemented by various governments? Honestly, most of us are not fully aware of the various aspects of government budgets. This is largely due to lack of adequate knowledge about relevant sources of information, technical terms used in the budget documents, multi-tier Indian federal structure and complex budgetary processes among others. To address this, a Budget Basics section has been integrated on Open Budgets India or OBI portal. It is designed to help understand government budgets in an easy and accessible way through explainers, visualizations, charts, tables, etc. For ease of access, this section has been divided into 12 subsections, such that each section focuses on one aspect of government budgets. Let us check what each of these subsections contains. Section 1 explains some basic concepts related to government budgets such as what is a budget, where does the government get money from and where this money is spent. In India, there are three tiers of governments namely the union government, state governments and local governments like municipalities and panchayats. Section 2 provides the details about the division of responsibilities for public provisioning and power to raise resources across all three tiers of government. Each of these three tiers of government, their responsibilities for public provisioning and powers are further explained in greater detail in the next four sections. These sections are union budget, state budgets, municipal budgets and panchayat budgets Section 7 introduces the four stages of the budget cycle and how they are carried out at the levels of union and state governments. Further, Section 8 provides information pertaining to concepts, processes and actors involved in one of the important stages of the budget cycle, that is, audit. It also presents information on social auditing and its importance. When the government formulates schemes, it uses various strategies and methods and refers to best practices to decide on delivering benefits of such schemes to the people. Section 9 explains various frameworks used by the government, while Section 10 provides information on some of the major government programs and schemes. Budget documents are an important source of information on government schemes and programs. You can explore Section 11 which provides the list of important documents published by the Union Government and all state governments as well as their respective sources. The last section is the Glossary, which lists down all the technical terms, main actors or institutions and their brief definitions. If you have come across any term in any of the previous 11 sections that you find difficult to understand, you can get an explanation of the same in this section. To get complete benefits from government initiatives and programs and to engage meaningfully with government budgets, it is pertinent to develop an understanding about various aspects related to government budgets. So, what are you waiting for? Explore the Budget Basics section on OBI portal. The section is available in both English and Hindi. If you want to learn more about government budgets in India, please visit the OBI portal. This portal provides various features and databases related to government budgets in India. Thank you for watching this video.